these delicious pumpkin cookies have been a holiday favorite in my family for years. And to make them, we need the following ingredients. Butter, sugar, one egg, canned pumpkin, chopped nuts, chocolate chips, all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Hey everybody, I'm Nate Raffin. And I'm Daniel Raffin. And I'm Vicki Raffin. And we are at our parents' house in Kaiser. This is our mother. And she's graciously agreed to share with us her famous recipe for pumpkin cookies with dark chocolate chips. Let's get started. All right. All right. So what do we do, what do, we do first for the pumpkin cookies? Mom. Okay, the first thing we're going to do with these cookies is we're going to mix the shortening and the sugar. In this case, to make it more healthy, we're using butter. So this is a half cup of butter, and that goes in our large bowl. And then we are adding one and a half cups unrefined sugar. And Nathan, since you have all the wonderful strength, let's mm -hmm. have you cream the sugar and shortening. Oh, very well. <laughs> While he's doing that, I'm going to mix the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients consist of two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder. And there's a little tip that I have learned that if you have your baking powder or baking soda sitting for a while in your cupboard, you want to probably shake up the box so that you're getting some of the baking powder and baking soda from the bottom so that it's still uh, really good. Um, then we need a half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. What are you doing? Oh, get out of those chips! Yeah, I like chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> Those are for later. Save them for the cookies. Now we're making we're making cookies here. What kind you of can cookies? <laughs> they're what cookies you're making. They're mom's famous uh, pumpkin cookies. You can have some when we're done. Yeah. Shoo, shoo, shoo. We'll be done. Oh. Soon. <laughs> we'll be done soon. I get to have the first one. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to mix these dry ingredients together with a fork. Turn the bowl as I go to make sure that they're evenly mixed together. We're now going to add the egg. Where is, it? is this going to go in here? In here, yes. Okay. And you can go ahead and stir that in. We will add a teaspoon of vanilla. This um, recipe was kind of developed by your grandfather. Oh, yeah? And it's one of his favorites, and we just all loved it, and so we. We've just always enjoyed making them. They're a cookie that freezes really well, mm -hmm. and so you can make them and save them for later, like if you're going on vacation and you want some good cookies, you can yeah. make them in the winter and take them with you in the summer. So they're really good cookies. Oh, that just looks really great. Okay, now we're going to add some of the dry ingredients. We add the dry ingredients alternately with the pumpkin. Okay, looks like we're ready for some pumpkin. So we'll add a little of that. There you go. And stir that in. Okay. The other good thing about this recipe is that the raw dough really doesn't taste very good. So as I would make <laughs> it, none of you would sneak the dough. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Tastes much better baked. All right, let's add a little more dry ingredients. Okay, we have um, our dry ingredients and our pumpkin mixed in. So the next thing we want to do is fold in our nuts and our chocolate chips. Um, usually we use walnuts for this, but Nathan wanted to try something new. We're going to put peanuts in and see how that works. So, you sure you want that many peanuts? Yeah, let's go for it. He's gonna be real nutty. Let's go for it. There we go, and here's our lovely dark chocolate chips. Yum, yum. A few short though, because your dad stole some. <laughs> We're going to put our cookies on our cookie sheet. We've put parchment paper on the cookie sheet so that we don't have to grease it. The cookies come off really nice. And that's a little small. These do not expand a great deal. So pretty much how you put them on there is the size of cookie you're gonna get. Very 
Come on, we say. Do, mm, not in my experience. These do. Yeah. Can I get the thumbs up? Ah, oh, yes, they look like they're good. A little more time, Mom? No, that looks about right. Really? Yep. Okay. Because well. you're looking at the bottom, not necessarily the top. Stop. In the middle of the oven. There we go. Okay. So those are looking pretty good, huh? Oh, they're looking good. They're smelling even better. My mom's cooking. Do you want one? <laughs> like good home cooking. That there. A little dark on the wall. That's a good testimony. Right mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. <laughs> like you remember. <laughs> That's good. Mm. <laughs> well, one, we'll do one for now, do one later. Mm. Nathan hasn't had one yet. Yeah. Get them while you can. <laughs> well, thank you, Mom, for sharing your famous pumpkin cookie recipe yes. with us. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. It's nice to be able to hand down a recipe that's been in the family for a few generations. Yeah, and we're going to keep it going. Uh, if you want to uh, use this recipe as well this holiday season, just log on to livingcultureonline.com and we'll have the recipe for these pumpkin cookies listed on the front page all month long. Right, Dan? That's right. Great. Happy snacking, everyone. Oh, yes. yes. Happy Halloween. I'm Nate Raffin. I'm Daniel Raffin. <laughs> and I'm their mom. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Cheers. <laughs> Aren't you proud? Mm, I am. <laughs> mm. Those are really are good, aren't That's they? That's good stuff. <laughs> it's too bad David's not here. <sighs> he loves these cookies. Yes. Very sweet.